What's going on, you guys? You're here with Ed, and I'm here with a helpful more so video for anybody in need. Obviously, you know by the title of this video that I'm going to explain to you guys how I survived the semester with zero books. Absolutely no books. Zero dollars spent on any books whatsoever. No clickbait, no cap, all that good stuff. So let's get straight to it. Obviously, you guys can tell I have the same clothes on from the previous video, but you will only know that if you checked out my previous video. So, if you haven't checked out my previous video, then what the heck? Like, what are you doing? Be sure to subscribe to this channel and give me 200 subs so I can do some special things for you guys, some giveaways, some shout outs, whatever you guys desire. I am here. Also, we're going to get straight into this video by just saying I do not promote or not, not that I necessarily don't condone, but I'm not trying to promote that you guys don't go out and buy your books for your classes. If your professor requires, if your professor or your teacher, anybody requires you to get a book and they tell you that you're gonna need it, look into that and you know, take precaution and proceed with caution and don't buy at your own risk. I'm not telling you guys to sit here and don't buy books. I'm telling you guys how I personally survived without buying books this semester. So if you guys have to get books, get your books. I don't want nobody coming back like, and I didn't get my book because of you. And um, I failed the course and da, 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 da. Because I am like low key about to have a 4.0. I have one more final. And if I ace it, then I will most likely have a 4.0. But if one of my professors give me like a B or something, then I'm not gonna have, I'm gonna have like a 3.8 or a 3.7 or something. Anyway, we're gonna go straight to it. So, this is how I survived the semester with absolutely no books. So, let's get it started. So, boom. Me and my girlfriend have the same major, right? We have the same major. If you guys don't know, you might know. Me and my girlfriend have the same major, but different courses, which is, okay. So, she took classes before I did because I am new to the major. It's a long story short. I won't even, like explain it or if you guys want to hear that story time just let me know anyways she took the classes prior to me taking the classes so she had the professors so i'm gonna get straight to it so my political class boom she had the professor that i have now and she was like babe you know like we never used a book like don't waste your money like we didn't use a book not one time and oftentimes professors they do powerpoints so if your professor does not do powerpoints you might need to get the books because some professors, they'll talk about it. They won't post PowerPoints. And then like, if you think they're not taking notes, it's going to work. You're going to be wrong. So make sure you guys like pay attention to your professors. Ask around. A lot of things that people do at my school, they ask around. They're like, hey, has anybody took Dr. Such says, Professor Such says, how is it? Do you need the book? How much is the book? Etc. Also, weigh out your options. Like if, if the book costs, you know, like... If you see a book that costs fifty dollars, nine times out of ten there might be somebody that sells it for cheaper. So always check, you know, check and Amazon and eBay and a lot of book. There's a lot of book apps. Check your bookstore, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys check out all of your options. Don't just settle like, dang, I gotta buy this hundred and fifty dollar book. Amazon might sell it for hundred. I'd rather pay hundred dollars than hundred fifty dollars any day. So make sure you guys do that. That's my advice to you guys. So basically, like, you know, I was like, okay. My girl's saying that I don't need the book. I trust her. I know she wouldn't send me up for failure. I hope not. So I didn't get the book, right? So whole semester, like, um, she did PowerPoints. She posted the PowerPoints. So I went from the PowerPoint, wrote down my own notes from them, studied my notes, test the test, A's on every test. Boom, right? What else class? So my intro to math. Okay, so boom. So that class, she said we needed the book. Once again, she literally did PowerPoints, you guys. Like, she went, and that was a more so hands-on class, so she wasn't even stressing about books and books and books. It was just more so, like, how can I help you? You feel me? And that's what I respect so much about her. Anyway, she did PowerPoints. So, I would, and then also, also pay attention because some professors might give you, um, they might give you old exams. They might also give you, um, they'll give you like a study kind of exam like this is what my professor did y'all so she would give us a study quiz right a study quiz a lot to you now it was daggone there the same thing as the actual quiz or as an actual exam test whatever you want to call it so literally i would study the exact questions the exact answers and then match them up and then like i would test myself like probably like five freaking times go take my test took me like two minutes, I was always like the second or third to leave, be done with the, with the quiz or the test, 
And I got A's, straight A's, the whole semester. You feel me? So it's like, do stuff like that also my writing class, media class. Boom. No, I'm, I'm going to do that last because that's where it gets the juices. I'm going to do that one last. Um, I also had an art okay, class. Never mind. Because never mind. my art class, it's not, it's not like regular art. It's like a computer art. That was like, we didn't need a book for that, obviously. Boom. So my writing class, media class. Whew. So she required three books, right? Who was buying three books? I'm like, this is the only class I need books for. So I started out, you know, confident. I'm not buying no books this semester. I'm tired of this. You know, like I'm just protesting in my mind. Like I'm not getting no freaking books, right? So this is what happened. So the first couple of weeks, you know, like she just like, I'll give you guys some more time to get your books. You know how they are in school. Like they're like, I will give you guys a little bit more time, etc. So I'm like, okay, cool. I just keep pushing it. That's when I literally like, you know, I had money set aside, you know, my mom was like, hey, I'll just give you a little bit so you can go get your books. Did not use that for my books. Obviously, I didn't use it for anything like a pair of shoes or nothing. I I had bills. So I paid, you know, a, a little bit of things off. So um, I never got the books, obviously. Never got the books. And pretty much like she would just be like, hey, you guys have your books today? We get to class. And there was always more than one person, which me, and then like a few other people who would be like, no, or you didn't say we needed it, or it's three books. So it's like, which book do you need for one? Why do we need all three? So basically one was like an AP book just to like help us, you know, verbally speak for certain stuff and work on our grammar, etc. Because a lot of us come from like, you know, like cities and stuff like that, especially like, you know, like New York and then like stuff like that, like not pronounce, pronouncing our words correctly and stuff like that. So it was just to help us out with that because it was a, a, a I'm getting way off topic. Anyway. The other books, I don't even know because I didn't get them. So basically, like we had to, I remember this one day, story time, we had a quiz, right? And she was like, bring your books. She was like, bring your books. It'll be an open book quiz. So I'm like, <laughs> open book quiz that I don't have to book, meaning I'm gonna fail this quiz because I don't have the book. I'm like, okay, it's not a problem, it's not a problem. So I'm like, you know, hey you, you took this class, you got this book. Hey you, you took this, you took this class, you got this book. All that good stuff, right? If you guys hear cars going by, I'm sorry, I'm recording over here by the window like a dummy, whatever. Um, so I'm asking around. And there's people like, yeah, I got you, I got you. Boom. I'm like, all right, let's get it. I go trying to get the book from Shawty, and like she just went ghost to me. So I'm like, what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? Then that's when this is one, um, one girl. She like was mad cool. Like I had, I used to give her like, well, yeah, I used to give her rhymes and stuff like that. So cool. So she gave me the book and I'm like, boom. So I get there for the test and she like, basically is one of those bomb professors that don't really believe in like giving you tests and there's just no point. I'd rather just educate you than to sit here and like test your knowledge when it's just like, you come to school at your own risk. So why am I forcing you? Shout out to her. Actually, actually, if you guys want to know the professor I'm talking about, check out my video where I said, um, my video on um how do you feel about your ex because i asked that professor that's the professor i asked how did how does she feel about her ex so if you guys want to know who i'm talking about i'll link it down below anyway so she was like um basically just gave us like two questions and we said it out loud like literally she was just like okay so what is this and how do you use this and da, 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 da. and we all just as a class just said it out loud so i needed the book just so i can participate and act like i studied i knew what i was doing that i went over the book and all that good stuff i hope you're not watching this but that was it that's the only time i actually needed the book like she would ask all the time like who has their books today who has their books today you would think like you would get in trouble for not having your book but no no like you know it's just about finessing i'm not i'm really not trying to encourage this behavior because like it's a lot of people i know like it's um yes yeah, so a lot of people i know they be like you know like straight a students they like I don't, I don't buy books and i don't believe in buying books and i can maneuver my way around and i really feel like if that is you really use it and you know help others if you can this is my first me this is my okay so this is my third year in college i'm a junior this is my first time my first semester not purchasing any books so i'm kind of like proud that i was able to save that money i didn't have to stress about ordering it getting it shipped shipping it back for rentals you know stuff like that so I do encourage that if you can finesse your way around, you know, not have to spend extra money because I have so much other stuff that I have to invest my money into. Not saying that college is not one of them because obviously I am paying tuition, so I'm never sending myself into college. But you know, finesse like if you y'all y'all already know, college is about finesse and school is about finesse and the world is about finesse and like everything is about finesse. You feel me? So just do what you have to do. Take care of your business. I really want all you guys to like you know 
I'm not gonna sit here and tell you to stay in school because I feel like I'm wasting my time in school right now. I don't really think it's not really doing anything for me. So I'm not gonna tell you guys to stay in school. I'm just gonna tell you if you are, you know, enrolled in school, you know, handle your business, get, get it through. If you're going to grad school, get it done. Don't procrastinate. If you need to take time back, understand that but also you know just weigh out your options like if i sit back am i going to want to go back you know just really sit and think about what you're going to do and all that good stuff i won't sit here and give you guys a speech or whatever even though i would love to because i just love encouraging people i just really want everyone in the world to be great i think everybody deserves you know a really opportunity to become something be great and just use yourself to their full potential that's why i'm trying to you know grab you guys and because i want you guys to be under the right hands i'm not saying that i'm the mother of all mothers but i'm just saying I have something in my brain that's just like, I don't think anybody else has that kind of knowledge in their brain. I really just want to spread positivity and I want to spread love and encouragement. I just want to be here for anybody that needs somebody to be here for them. That's why I'm trying to draw you guys to me. I'm not trying to, you know, suck away everybody else's, you know, supporters. But I'm trying to gain my own supporters so that we can start our movement. We can start our positive learning and love spreading. And we can do what we got to do and get what we got to get done. Be a family trying to get back so like i said subscribe so that i could do some giveaways and you know like i don't know whatever you guys want comment down below anyways thank you for watching this video i hope it was helpful for you i hope that you gained something from this video i hope that you may have also been through the same thing and you know you have your short story story to tell all that good stuff so thank you guys for watching this video like i said we'll see you in the next one i'm lit and i've been dropping back-to-back -back uploads so y'all already know what's good with me i'm dropping uploads like every day whenever i can to be honest whenever i have spare time i'm telling you like i'm on it i'm on it even though i don't have the biggest support group i love doing youtube so i'm going to keep doing it no matter what even if only one person watching my video which is me i'm going to know what i gotta do because I just love it. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Sorry for talking for so long. I hope you guys watched all the way through. If you watched all the way through, give it a thumbs up. If you don't give it a thumbs up, then I just, I don't, I don't understand. Anyway, peace.